can you talk about some of the new things you can now achieve with the new glass box game engine? So the most important thing about the, the glass box simulation engine is it lets us um, it lets us make a simulation that's just much deeper and has much more integrity. Uh, it lets us model things like, say, I mean things as trivial as the flow of sewage through the sewage pipes with a lot more accuracy because, uh, you know, if you think about it, you can represent most of the things that you might want to represent in a city as, you know, people going around and doing things, cars driving from place to place, getting stuck in transit, buildings that are, you know, doing business, that are sending people back and forth. With the Glassbox engine, uh, we can actually model all those things accurately, you know, so you can click on an individual sim, watch that sim move through the street going from their house to their job, for example. You can click on a, a police car and see exactly where that police car is going to a particular crime in a particular building. And because the simulation's all agent-based, you know, the glass box allows us to make, uh, you know, that criminal a particular criminal. You know, he leaves a house looking to commit a criminal act, you know, depending upon what level criminal he is, he's looking to go burn a house down or he's going to, look, you know, wants to go murder a sim or wants to embezzle something, you know. We can track that and you, you as the player, can find that criminal, click on him and then track him as he walks through the city, goes to a particular house, does the deed, gets caught or not, depending upon what you got for police uh, protection, and then walks back to a criminal hideout. And so it gives us that level of specificity and lets us model all the systems that make up the city with way more integrity than we could have ever done before. What are some of the core tenants that have remained throughout this franchise? So SimCity is, at heart, a game about you creating, composing, managing, making creative decisions about a city, right? It's about creating a world with your city, uh, seeing it come to life, having it push back at you, convince you of its reality, having you respond to the challenges that it, it throws up uh, with design choices, you know, with, with your decisions. So at kind of the dopey level, you know, you're laying out roads, you're zoning, you're demolishing things, you're providing city services, uh, you're providing utilities and infrastructure for your little people. You make a good city for these people, that people will move in. If you're a lousy mayor, people will move out, your city will burn down, it'll, it'll get swathed in, you know, pollution, uh, sewage will build up in people's houses. You know, so at heart, a lot of the same SimCity mechanics that you as the player have used are there. You're just acting upon a much more complex and robust simulation than you were before. How have you designed this game to appeal to both the casual and more hardcore PC gamers? So SimCity's always been a game that's got both a surface element that appeals to casual players and a deep element that appeals to people who really want to understand and eventually beat the simulation. So um, this simulation is a lot deeper, a lot more complex than any of the previous simulations. So that's uh, you know great for hardcore players, but we've had to um, we've had to layer on all these data visualization techniques on top of it, so that casual players just coming to it can look at a, a city and intuitively understand what's going on. You know, they see a, a house with piles of trash cans in front of it, and they go to a data layer and they see a big brown bar, you know, over the house. They think, ah house probably has a garbage problem, right? And so uh, exactly how you go about solving that garbage problem is going to be up to you as a hardcore player. You know, you can say to yourself, well, it would be more efficient for me to start another city over there and then set up a, uh, an incinerator that's downwind of my previous city so that I really don't have to deal with that much in the city. But, you know, if you're a noob player, you're just going to go, oh, this is the, they've got the garbage problem. You put down a garbage dump and little garbage trucks will drive around and pick up all the garbage and bring it home. So the trick has been to make a deep simulation that really is... Um, multi-layered and that you can solve for your problems in lots of different ways, but to present it to the player in a way that is simple, transparent, coherent. And because we're using objects and agents to simulate all this stuff, it's pretty intuitive. I mean, you, you see a garbage truck driving around, that's actually a garbage truck driving around. You know, you see a, uh, you know, you see a fire truck driving to the scene of a fire, that's actually the fire truck driving to the scene of the fire. You know, there's no abstraction involved. Uh, it's just one-to-one, -one. you know, what you see is actually what's being simulated in the world. What are some of the different ways that you can play? Um, so there's two main ways that people play SimCity, in my experience. Uh, and in fact, those are really well represented on the team. There's uh, our min-maxers, basically people who really want to understand what that simulation is doing and, uh, and optimize some particular thing. They want the most criminals, or they want the most impressive police state, or they want to get the uh, highest density buildings, or the highest population, or the most money, or the, they're basically trying to beat some particular aspect of the game, right? Uh, and uh, uh, I'd say that, in fact, the majority of our designers are kind of in that category. Uh, there's a few of us, of which I'm one, who play it more as creative players, you know, who are uh, kind of building out a little fantasy landscape that, you know, that you can imagine yourself in, you know? Like, I, I like to make these little uh, coastal towns with pretty little houses along the beach, uh, you know, nice little forests 
good little school systems and think, ah, it'd be kind of nice to live there, wouldn't it? Uh, and meanwhile, you know, uh, Chris Schmidt, who's our tuning tester, is like, what are you doing? You know, that city's nowhere. Uh, and I'm like, but it's pretty. I kind of like it. Uh, and so those two ways of playing, the sort of the creative way to play and the, um, the hardcore simulation min-maxer are the two major categories to play. And then inside SimCity, people find different things that interest them and they focus on those particular things, you know. Uh, um, if you decide you're going to make a city that's, uh, you know, specialized in education, you're going to wind up with a completely different city than one that's specialized in dealing with garbage and uh, pollution and sewage and recycling and whatnot. And, uh, and so, depending upon what you want to do, you can focus on one of those or the other and, uh, and build a city around that. And your cities will be distinct and differentiated because they have different challenges. There's different ways to play those things. Mm -hmm.